Russia has tested a missile that doesn't just fly for a few thousand kilometers, but one that can keep going and going, fly low to avoid radar, choose unpredictable paths, and hit almost anywhere. That's Russia's nuclear-powered Burevestnik missile. It could completely change how we think about long-range strikes and defense. So, what can this missile really do? What message is Russia trying to send, and could it change the future of warfare entirely? The Burevestnik program was first publicly revealed in 2018 as one of Russia's new strategic weapons. It went through development and multiple test attempts. Some failed, including the 2019 accident. And now Russia announced a successful test on 21st October 2025. In the test, it reportedly flew approximately 14,000 kilometers in about 15 hours. It's a ground-launched cruise missile, often described as low-flying, terrain-hugging, with not only a nuclear warhead capability, but a nuclear propulsion system, a mini-reactor or nuclear engine of some kind, so it can stay aloft far longer than a conventional fueled missile. It is not limited by fuel, so theoretically, much longer flight times, range, loitering over target areas. The Burevestnik uses a small nuclear reactor for propulsion, most experts believe it employs an open-cycle nuclear thermal jet engine. In this design, air is drawn in, heated directly by the nuclear reactor core, and expelled as exhaust. The Burevestnik uses a booster during launch to get it up to speed, after which the nuclear propulsion system kicks in. It is approximately 12 meters long at launch and about 9 meters in flight configuration. Much of the data about this missile is classified but experts estimate its weight to be around 24 tons, much heavier than Russia's conventional KH-101 cruise missile, due to the addition of a nuclear reactor. Russia has not revealed the weight of the nuclear warhead it could carry, though similar-sized Russian cruise missiles usually carry warheads weighing between 300 and 1,500 kilograms. As it is a cruise missile, it flies very low, about 50 to 100 meters above the ground during most parts of its flight, which helps it avoid radar detection. Some reports speculate that its speed could range from high subsonic to low supersonic, roughly between 800 and 1,300 kilometers per hour. The exact nature and amount of nuclear fuel it carries are classified, but due to its high power requirements and compact size, it is speculated to contain 50 to 200 kilograms of highly enriched solid uranium. This missile is less about speed or maximum altitude and more about endurance, unpredictability, terrain-hugging flight, which makes defense harder, global reach and nuclear strike capability. Russia presents it as a weapon designed to evade missile defenses and approach targets from unexpected directions. It strengthens Russia's nuclear deterrence and overall strategic posture. With the successful test of the Burevestnik, Russia demonstrated its dominance in missile technology. As Putin said, it is a unique weapon which nobody else in the world has. It's also a powerful political and psychological tool, a signal to the U.S. that Russia remains at the cutting edge of strategic weapons. This strengthens Moscow's deterrent posture and gives Russia additional leverage in negotiations and bargaining, especially in the context of the Ukraine war and ongoing sanctions. But the same nuclear-powered system also brings serious risks. Radiation contamination along its flight path, or in case of a crash, environmental hazards, high costs, and maintenance and reliability challenges. As it flies, Air passing through the reactor could carry radioactive particles from the reactor's core materials into the atmosphere. Still, the Burevestnik could reshape the future of warfare. Once it becomes operational, reliable and safe, we might witness a revolution in aviation, where aircraft, drones and missiles use nuclear propulsion. Imagine long-endurance drones or missiles that can fly for days, loiter over targets and strike from unexpected directions. That would completely transform the nature of strike capability, surveillance, and endurance. If Burevestnik-style weapons become reliable, adversaries may invest more heavily in detection of low-flying nuclear-powered threats, new defense layers, and may accelerate arms race dynamics.